now three weeks into the two-month shutdown of the Sumner Tunnel, and today we actually got a progress report on the project. And of course, everyone who has endured the traffic will be eager to see this end. WBZ's Paul Burton gives us an update tonight from East Boston. It's week three of the Sumner Tunnel closure, and MassDOT says construction is on schedule. Today we got a close look inside the tunnel. The focus right now is installing these precast concrete arches, which will form the new ceiling of the Sumner Tunnel. They've been working on both sides of the tunnel, so we'll talk the East Boston side and the North End side. So they're coming from the middle. They've been going out in two different directions. More than 780 of these precast arches will be installed over the next few weeks. We put a couple of structural steel brackets bolted to each wall to get those secured in place. And we lower the bracket, the arch down onto those brackets until it's in exactly the right spot. Meanwhile, commuters have to grin and bear it while the tunnel remains closed. How much has your time been delayed because of this? It's at least 30 minutes to get out of East Boston daily. Uh, the weekend wasn't bad, but like the week has really been an impact. Mass DOT says there has been an uptick in MBTA ridership, specifically along the Blue Line and commuter rail. And with the NAACP convention taking place later this week, folks can expect more traffic delays. Yep, I mean, there's events every weekend. We're well aware of that convention. I believe they put in extra ferries from Logan across the harbor. So um, we're monitoring. We have traffic engineers monitoring the traffic every day. Which brings some comfort to drivers who hope to soon see a light at the end of the tunnel. What do you hope to hear? I hope to hear that it doesn't go past August 31st. <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> I think people have their fingers crossed that that's true. I cannot believe it's only mm. been three weeks. 